Like the video and I'll say Edelgard did nothing wrong. But until then... Part 2. Verdant Wind. Garland Moon. Conclusion of the Crossing Roads. This is it! This is what I asked for! This is the gimmick I wanted! Surrounded on all sides having to defend yourself from every angle, you need to spread your units out to deal with the various threats. Sure, the map isn't the exact shape I was expecting, it's a little open and there are units that start right by us, but actually it works as like a little extra challenge. It's great, it's perfect! Except... They aren't moving. Why aren't they moving? It feels like there is always one thing that just ruins a good concept Three Houses had going for it. Without the enemies moving, what is the point of being surrounded? There are so many choke points to work. Even with the big guys, they get big doors you can just put one little guy in front of to block the whole thing. They don't have a lot of archers, so the chokes don't feel pointless. Like, the archers just can't shoot over them. But no, it doesn't matter. They don't move. Just take your time. Clear out everyone with your whole squad. To do spawns eventually, he might die. Oh well, who cares? He only slightly impacts the story. Whatever. This map sucks even more in the Blue Lions version, because you start at the very bottom of the map, so you're not even surrounded from the get-go. You just go out there and kill, and it takes forever, and... Ugh. The game does not want to throw anything interesting at the player because they do not trust the player to build their units in a way that could handle a dynamic challenge. It's why we tend to see such a wider variation in the maps of the paralogs, like forests or the sand. They maybe are not the best levels, but they do offer greater variance in design because they're optional. So if you don't build that perfect all wyvern team, you can just skip the paralogue. The main story chapters can only really test your unit's combat ability, something that every single class can do. They would never test your defensive abilities or movement abilities if there was a chance you never class anyone into armor knights or mounted units. The freedom in crafting your students limits the amount of design tools the level makers have to work with and can just ruin chapters like this. Sorry if this was a little rambly, I just kinda had to get it off my chest, and there wasn't really much to talk about with this chapter anyway. Just clear out each group of units at your own pace. It's pretty boring. 3 out of 10.